Hi, welcome to the new video. Um, greetings to Jim Ray. Um, he ordered this design. So it's um, a knife and a snake. I'm using a opaque black and white and the rest of the colors are transparent. I'm using uh, the black chroma looks glossy shiny paper. It's like a coated paper paper where you can practice and paint. And it's like because it's coated, it's like you're you can practice to work on on bike gas tanks or stuff like this because um, the color won't go into the paper. It sticks on the surface. Every mistake you make there, like if it's too much color and it, and it starts to run, you can practice there. So I have a back background. And there's also a cover stencil where you can, can make this whole image black if you're working on a white background, for example. And I'm using two times white. And the first time I'm uh, using less opacity to create a gray and now I'm using the full white but not on every part of the stencil I'm trying to to guess the shape of the, the snake through the, the, the middle part of the body is, is lighter than the outside so you get like an image of the volume of the snake so now it's like one and a half minute or two minutes and the main picture is finished. I'm using now... I'm, I'm, I'm making a, a flames background using transparent yellow, transparent magenta, transparent purple and a transparent light brown which is like a combination of 90% yellow and 10% purple. So now I'm using the purple and the red. So this is the first layer of work. So this is for the flames that are in the background. In the second step I'm using again the opaque white and um, the uh, Free Flames Fire Stencil where it's, it's like um, I think for me it's the easiest if I imagine myself that you think of the letter S and where the bows are you can put in this, this stencil. So you have the one side and is the other side. I think this is the easiest way to use it at the beginning. Afterwards, if you are practicing with this, you can do other shapes and forms. So again I'm using the the red for the darker outside and the light brown for the inside. So as you can see now the transparent colors um, that's a really nice mix on the surface. So you get now you get now dark red tones and also 
light orange tones. Now I'm doing this a third time. The more times you do this, the more the more variations in colors there are on the, the picture. But it always depends on the time that you want to spend on this image or that the customers want to pay. So now I'm using a yellow and the light brown for the finish. And then again you can work with a white, some highlights. It's like, like I said, with the letter S, you take one bow, then flip to this tensile and do the other side. Most days look a little bit nicer if you if you do this this tensile and then you do like a freehand flame shape up and down so it doesn't look too stencil. So then again, um, I'm using the yellow so that there is no pure white in the background. I think that it looks nicer that way. And again, a little bit of red. And the light brown. And there you see the finished picture. Now it's up to you how you put in colors. Um, there's a stencil for the body of the snake, for the open mouth and the eye. And it depends how, how much color you want to put into it. I personally like the, the colorless image more than like doing a, a green snake or something like this. It looks more classy without the the if it's too colorful. So I'm using the oh here's a, a light cyan, light blue. And I'm using the stencil for the body of the snake to lay some shadows and to give some form with the opaque black. So everything that's behind the dagger or the, the bottom side of the snake, I'm um, doing a little bit black. the second white stencil again for some highlights. 
sides with the opaque white again. Um, now I'm doing something for for Jim that he ordered this stencil, so I do a something with his name. So there's a name stencil. I'm doing the white first, then I put it some millimeters in one direction, and I'm spraying black over it. So you get like a really nice fine white line around the name. So it looks like it was live engraved there. Okay, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you soon. Bye.